What up, y'all? The Savage Tiger football fan coming at you. It is about 6.45 p.m. Uh, Monday evening. And, uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, it's been a minute since I made a video, you know. But, um, as we know, if any of y'all follow sports, especially college football, know that my team, LSU, was playing in the national championship game. Yeah, on January 13th, 2020, which was like over a month ago, uh, we won that damn thing, man. We're national champions. Haters gonna hate, but that's all right. They just hate because we too good. You feel me? Uh, yeah, so, yeah, I just want to come on and say that uh, we went 15-0. Uh, the first uh, team in our conference to do that. Um, I believe Clemson did it last year, but uh, they're not in our conference, so they don't count. So basically, LSU made a lot of history uh, with this uh, national championship. So, um, you know, like our quarterback is like, is gonna go probably first round of the first pick in the draft this year. And the draft that comes up later in April, which I can't wait for. It's going to be the most exciting draft in a while I've seen. And, uh, okay, so, and basically, it feels so great, you know, to finally be national champions. Like, I've never experienced it in my life. But my dad, who's an LSU alum from 1995, uh, he's experienced, uh, this is his third time experiencing a national championship because uh, basically this century we won it three times. Uh, just this past year, 2003 and 2007. And during the other ones, I was just a kid. I never cared about football at that moment. So uh, that's why I didn't really get to experience the national championship. But uh, but we always had good teams. You know? We had great teams. To, like People want to downplay us sometimes. It really, it really bothers me. But we put out the most NFL talent out there every single year, and uh, the 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 amount of uh, talent that we recruit out of high school every year, it's insane. Like, every single year, basically, they had a top ten recruiting class. Same as this year, which I'll get to in a minute. Uh, we've been through a couple of coaching changes, but, so yeah. Now that we won the national championship, I mean, LSU is basically always, for me, to my standard, it's always been known as an elite program because of the amount of uh, the recruiting rankings every year. The amount of, it shows how much talent we put in the NFL. And the amount of, we get about, we win about nine, 10 games a year on average. The years that we don't win a national championship. That's pretty damn good for, you know, it puts us, uh, we're always ranked pretty good say in the top 10 and top 15 mostly uh, and it's just I mean we've been, we've been a consistent powerhouse you could say this whole century because I'm gonna go back to the when when I wasn't born yet and because I was born in 1999 right coincidentally that was the last losing season we had so it's been 20 straight years of winning seasons and We've won only on 17 of those years, of those 20 years. We've actually won at least nine games, like I just said before. But uh, three of those years, how the fuck what was that? Okay, my battery running low. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so three of those years we have only won eight games. So that's basically been our worst record since 1999, where we actually lost more games than we won. That was the last year it happened. So, <coughs> uh, so, and two of the two out of those times that we won eight games was it was just rebuilding year. First, it was actually the first year since it was two thousand where we finally got a new coach. It was Nick Saban. Most of y'all that watch sports are familiar with him. He coached LSU from two thousand to two thousand four. We won the two thousand three national championship with us. So, uh, he is basically considered our enemy now because he coaches at Alabama. The, every time I get to it in a minute, we beat him. And 
it feels so good after eight years to finally beat them because they've been an obstacle in competing for the national championship. And uh, it feels great to finally beat him before he retires because uh, man, it's fucking damn dark. Let me turn the light up again. All right, that's better. So, uh, yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the, the his first year. I mean, what could we do? We had a lot of talent. Uh, we got a lot of uh, bad players, you know, that we've been recruiting in the '90s when we was really bad. Had a lot of losing seasons, but LSU was never a program before 2000. So last century, we, we, in our history, we've never really been a consistent program until this century. Like we used to lose a lot of seasons. Like a couple, a hit, we here and there, we had like great seasons, but we haven't won. We actually didn't win a national championship. But yeah, the only one we won the last century was 1958, which was our first. And ever since then. Uh, it's been Nick Saban that came in 2003 that finally after five decades, basically. Um, then after five decades that uh, we actually won one. So, uh, so we've been, uh, so Nick Saban actually, I thank him. We have to be all, LSU fans really hate him. I hate him just because he went to coach Alabama. But, uh, but we've actually been, I don't know what could have been if he stayed at our school. Like, I don't know if it had been the same thing. Like, Alabama won some a couple national championships this, uh, in the past decade. While they beat us for eight years in a row, they won like, like four championships. And yeah, it's been a little bit what you could call, you could so call a dynasty. But, um, in my mind, LSU could become even better than that, too. We have so much potential, it's not even funny. But, um... Anyways, back to Nick Saban when he coached us. Um... So, yeah, we basically, he made us a powerhouse. A football powerhouse that we never was before 2000. So, I'm really happy about that. And... Even though, even though he left us in 2004 for the NFL, then we got this coach named Les Miles. And he coached us from 2005 until 2016, uh, the week four of 2016. We finally, we went two and two that year with so much talent. We started off two and two. It's been our worst record, worst start since like 2001 or 2000, some shit like that. And since the Saban years when he first started building our, our program and we had to just let him go but, but in that time frame we've actually won we won one national championship almost won another one in 2011 yeah don't even get me started on that uh, it literally we should have won that they just gave a team that didn't deserve it the spot in the national championship to play us even though we already beat them um not a whole lot of fucking controversy on there, so uh, it's frustrating. But I finally can. I still think of the 2011 team that was runner-up. I still think of it as the one of the best teams of all time as well, because uh, the defense we had was absolutely nasty, and it had a lot of NFL legends you're gonna know today, and you're going they're, they're gonna be in the Hall of Fame uh, later in the future. So, uh, it was basically the best, in my mind, no one can change my mind. It is the best defense to ever play college football. But, you know, this year, it was the best offense to play college football. Go watch our highlights, man. We scored so much. I just hope we're not going to, I don't think we're going to match that for a while. But I just, I just want to be efficient because the reason we wasn't beating Alabama these years and we couldn't get to the national championship because our offense has just been pathetic with a stacked defense. Our defense was absolutely stacked. Offense was stacked with talent, just did not have the right scheme in place, man. Dude, Les Miles, that's why we had to let him go. That's why in 2016 we, we finally fired him because he was he was recruiting amazing. He kept he be but the main point I'm trying to make in this video is through 
three coaches this century. We've been on, we're on our third coach this century ever since our program got founded. So Nick Saban for, for five years in the early part of the century. Then for like a, for like 11 years, we had Les Miles. Man, he, he really knew who to get to play for us. It just, he lacked offense. He, he basically brought an offense from the 1980s that used to work back then, but could not work now. And he, too, he was just stub, stubborn as fuck to change. And it really frustrated all of us. And we knew we wasn't getting anywhere. We knew we wasn't going to get over Alabama or get to the national championship if we cannot score a little more than we normally do. It, it was just pathetic. Like, it's pathetic to watch. But... Now we're on our third coach. He's been coaching since, 2000, since the second half of 2016. Uh, his name is Coach Ed Orgeron. We call him Coach O. He's from Louisiana. And he's been a failure the most of his life. Like he was in a, he, he had a scholarship to play at LSU. And he just uh, didn't want to work hard. So he, um, you know, there's a story on him. I might tell y'all later. I don't have that much time right now. This video ain't about my coach, but I wanted this for him because he's been through a, like so at other schools. He was offered; they had a chance to offer him the head coach, head coaching job while he was like filling in for a coach that been fired. That's what he did for us too. But then we promoted him to head coach. And at first, we was like, I don't know if this is a good hire. I was supporting it at first. Then the next year came, and we didn't. We lost some games that we shouldn't have lost. We, the talent we have every year, my expectations are always so high. So, and then look at us where we are now. He, I think he knew he's gonna make us better. He knew what scheme we had to uh, get to our to our team, so we can score a lot of points and use basically get the most get most potential out of out of our players. And it's worked this year. You can see why the talent, it took over. All we needed was a system, a proper system that the athletes we have can run. And they feel comfortable in. And yeah, that being said, it's uh, it's been amazing this season. Like, man, it's been absolutely amazing. I'm speechless because I didn't see this coming. I knew I had we had a chance for a national championship every year. We always knew, but I'm gonna say it again: you beat Alabama, you beat them. They're basically there was basically an obstacle between us and the national championship. We're gonna get there because the last time we beat them, 2011. That's the last time we beat them before this year, and that year we got the national championship. Yeah, so I'm very happy that we are a very consistent program, and uh, it, and the haters, the Alabama fans, always be like, "Oh, just watch uh, my best, my your best quarterback gone next year." I'm like, I'm like, man, they just we got to them, man. My dad always used to tell me. The day LSU beats Alabama, if they can, if in a fuck with their heads for real, like, and I think it is. They're just, they're so butthurt. Oh my god, the, and the haters always gonna hate on us now, but it's whatever. Go Tigers, you know what it is. Man, I'm looking forward to next season, man. Even though we lost a lot of talent to the draft, and we lost some coaches, but but uh, yeah, some of our assistants got promoted to head coaching jobs or better opportunities at, at the NFL or other other big big uh, universities, and it's good for them uh, because we got repla we got replacements, especially Bo Pelini, defensive coordinator. Uh, he was our defensive coordinator for Les Miles from 2005 to 2007. So he won the national championship with us that year, 2007. And man, I think I think it's going 
I wanted him. If my defensive coordinator that was currently there, if he goes away, man, that's, that was my number one replacement right there. And Coach Joe, man, he knows how to. He knows who to hire, man. He just knows how to run this program. Now, he basically, we all doubted him, including me, that he couldn't run this program. He couldn't take us to a national championship. It just wasn't going to happen with him. We gave him a couple of years, and he did it. Yeah, the other fans say it was a transfer quarterback from Ohio State that did this. I'm like, oh, well, my coach went to went to find him. And the first year, the funny thing is, the first year, he wasn't really good. He wasn't playing all that well. Not even close to what he played this year. We didn't have a system for him. And he finally figured it out. This is the system we need for him to succeed. And for us to go all the way, we just this is the changes we got to make to our team, man. Everyone bought into it. All the coaching staff, the fans, and the players was bought in. And it's just, I love my program, man. I love it. All the LSU fans out there, you know what I'm talking about. Got to be ready because I believe even if we have a, a lot of a lot of a lot to replace with coaches and players I believe it's possible that we can repeat as national champs next year I really believe it anyways um I think that's all I got for this video basically I talked about our national championship win and uh, how consistent of a program we have been this century and what was what we was before then it was so bad and i believe that's all i wanted to talk about in this video so um yeah so y'all uh subscribe to my channel uh hit the like button comment below only if you feel like it you don't have to if you don't feel like it <laughs> uh go tigers you know what it is and uh until next time